stage separates. The Falcon 9's first and second stages are connected by the black carbon fiber interstage, which houses the MVAC engine nozzle and the system that decouples the two stages during stage separation. And located above the second stage is the payload fairing, uh, and that is the large barrel structure at the very top of the rocket, which you see right there on your screen. Inside that fairing is the Astro 1P payload, which you can see here, uh, or par pardon me, uh, which you see the, the payload fairing there, and inside that is the Astro 1P pay payload. These are 17 feet in diameter, and the carbon composite fairings protect satellites on their way to orbit and are jettisoned appro approximately three minutes into flight. The fairing halves supporting today's mission are both flight proven, with one half flying for its sixth time and the other half flying for the seventh time. After separation from the second stage, both fairing halves will return to Earth and will be recovered by our recovery team on board our recovery vessel, Bob. Bob is already deployed and ready to head over to those fairings once they land. Now, uh, for now, here's more on today's telecommunication satellite. Television has been an indispensable part of our lives ever since its invention, bringing people together and connecting them through shared experiences. SES's satellites have been playing a pivotal role in delivering favorite content to viewers for decades. And now, we're thrilled to have our innovative Astro 1P satellite embark on its journey to space to do exactly that for years to come. Built by Thales Alenia Space, Astro 1P is the most powerful wide beam satellite ever to broadcast from SES's prime orbital slot at 19.2 degrees east, with a sole mission to deliver superior TV viewing experiences to 119 million TV households across Germany, France, Spain, and beyond. With superior reliability, wide reach, and unparalleled image quality, Public and private broadcasters, sports organizations, and content owners can rely on Astro 1P to reach their audiences across Europe. I'm super excited that you joined us for this launch of Astro 1P. Astro 1P will replace four existing satellites and seamlessly take over their mission of delivering prime content to 119 million TV households across Europe. That is more than 300 million people. This satellite will serve some of our largest media customers like Sky, Canal Plus, Telefonica, and RTL to deliver the valued high quality content to their customers. And it will also address the growing demand of sports and events so that customers like NFL and various football leagues can easily distribute their content across Europe. And of course, Astro 1P will also ensure the delivery of high definition content directly to our subscribers of HD Plus Business, which is the high definition satellite TV platform in Germany. Let's go ahead and see this launch. Unfortunately, while we were in that uh, customer package, we did hear the unfortunate news that due to the winds that we mentioned earlier in the webcast that we are forced to stand down from today's launch attempt. However, the vehicle and the payload remain in good health. And as I mentioned before, our next launch opportunity is tomorrow, June 19th, with a two hour and 49 minute launch window opening at 5.25 p.m. Eastern time. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see everyone back here for that next attempt. Have a good evening.